Tonight, two Warren leaders came together to talk directly with parents about their concerns with the school and the community. It's rare for the mayor and superintendent to be the focus of the same public meeting. First News reporter Alex George was there. It's new at 11 and Alex joins us live in the studio. Good evening, Stan and Erica. Mayor Doug Franklin and Warren City School Superintendent Steve Shiro walked into the meeting tonight without an agenda or talking points. They both came prepared to listen to the concerns that the parents brought with them tonight. Tonight's community conversation was held at Willard. Several parents came ready with questions and concerns ranging from bus stop safety to flooded roads. I know a student, he walks from Warren G. Harding all the way to Homewood off of Niles Road. My first concern was the bus stop for the kids that get off on the corner by Niles Road and the post office because there's no sidewalk there. Mayor Franklin says the success of the schools is a key part to the growth of the community. When everyone's looking at your community, they look at your, your streets and infrastructure, your crime stats, but more importantly, they look at your schools and the quality of uh, education. And we're doing good on both tracks, but we want to improve. We want to get better, and we have to work together to do that. Every parent and student in the district was given the opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with the superintendent and mayor at their school. Invitations were mailed out to families with report cards. We want our families to be heard as we move our district forward and as we move our city forward. We feel we can only do so with um, input and support. The mayor and superintendent plan to continue these events in the future. I feel that what we were saying was actually not only heard but listened to, and I feel like it's something that's going to be done about it. Tamisha hopes next time more parents will take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one time. It's power numbers. You have more people speaking out against things like that. Maybe, you know, things can begin to change around here. Mayor Franklin left with a fairly lengthy to-do list, and he said he's going to tackle it right away. He said some of those items will be on the desk of his safety director as soon as tomorrow. Alex George, WKBN 27, First News at 11.